tornadoes have now killed 28 people since the weekend. Let me just show you the states that are being affected. In the center and the south of the U.S., all the way up in the northwest of Kansas, all the way down to Georgia. But it's Arkansas which has really felt the brunt of the situation. And we're going to focus on a town, a small town called Valonia, because three years ago this week, this town was hit by a tornado. It's been hit again. Just look at one of the many pictures around. You can see the scale of the destruction that Valonia is experiencing. And a local station, THV11, has been helping us report this story. Its anchor, Dawn Scott, uh, has recorded this report for BBC OS. We are here in Faulkner County, Arkansas, on the outskirts of the town of Valonia, and there are just piles of debris, piles of uh, sheet metal. This is a can of Glade a room freshener. As you can see over here, there, there's a pillow in the rubble, uh, soft soap, suave shampoo, all kinds of personal items, a mattress that this storm uh, literally just blew apart this community and tore apart lives. The latest details, 15 people in the state of Arkansas died as a result of this tornado, 11 of the deaths at near where I am standing here in this part of the county. But today, the focus is all on cleaning up and all on rebuilding and this community coming together to help each other do just that. The governor of the state of Arkansas talking to federal officials now to see what type of federal aid is available for these people. We will update you as more information becomes available. I'm Dawn Scott from THV 11 for the BBC Outside Source. Thank you very much to Dawn for sending us that report. More updates on this uh, on Twitter. Phil Buck uh, tweeting, just got off the phone with a man in Valonia. Everything is completely gone, he says. And Americares, uh, an organization that's helping, says response underway in Arkansas with providing med supplies, relief items and water. And if you are watching in one of the affected areas, uh, we certainly wish you well. Now, let me just show you some satellite images uh, courtesy of NASA, which give us an idea of the weather system that was building up uh, ahead of some of these tornadoes. The BBC's Franz Strasser has been to Oklahoma to see how meteorologists there are using drones to improve their forecasts. Have a look. Using modern radar, uh, we can determine where a tornado is about 10 minutes before it strikes. That's plateaued in about the last decade, meaning our radars haven't gotten any better at determining that early signature. My name is Jamie Jacob. I'm a professor of aerospace engineering at Oklahoma State University. One of the things we'd like to be able to do is have UAVs fly in developing thunderstorms to figure out, well, why does one supercell form a tornado when another one does not? Our UAV that we're designing will carry numerous drop sons on board, so as it's flying in areas of interest, it'll be able to drop out little payloads that measures all those important meteorological parameters. Very interesting work being done in Oklahoma.